Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to make a chair just like this and we're going to use about four extrusions. So this is an example of addition by subtraction. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is start in your folder and hit create and document. And then we're going to call this chair and your initials. As this opens up, we're going to, there's many, many right ways to do this. Um, you could use the linear um, tools. You could use mirror tools. Uh, and so, again, you could do this all kinds of ways. This is the way that I'm going to show you. I'm going to start on the right view. So I'm going to grab my sketch and start on the right side. Can I grab the right side? Why does it keep grabbing the front side? Okay, I'm already on the right plane. No, I want the right plane. Got a little lag in this little computer. Here we go. All right, right plane. So I'm going to rotate to the right, and I'm going to grab a line tool, and I'm going to draw a chair, uh, the profile of the chair, the side view of the chair, and I'm not really paying close attention two dimensions yet, but I am paying close attention to um, making sure that all of my lines and then corners are at right angles. So I want to make sure that they're all at right angles and they all snap together. And then finally, I want to make sure that I start at the origin, I go back to the origin, and you can see a little light blue tint to it so that we're back to the origin. I want to use this equals constraint if you're using a smaller computer screen, you might have to hit like a, you might see this constraint or another constraint and hit the down arrow next to it. So I want to use the equals constraint and I want this line, this base of, and that line to be the same. Uh, and that's the bottom of the chair. I want this line and this line to be the same. Uh, and I also want this top part and this bottom part of the leg to be the same. So let's make all of that equal. And then I'm going to go to the dimensions. I'm going to start with the tallest dimension or the longest dimension, which happens to be the tallest. I'm going to make this 40 inches tall because it's going to be the height of the entire chair. And holy cow, it zoomed in. So if I just hit this right, then it zooms out for me. Um, let's see, I want to make this dimension 18.5. I want to make the height of this leg 17. There we go. We can see the seat again. Um, let's see. I want to make this base of the um, leg 2 inches, the width of the leg. Now, that should also make this 2 inches because earlier we set that equal to, and look at there already at two inches. You can also see that this is grayed out and then this is black. That's because of the e equals constraint that we used earlier. Uh, and I think the last dimension we want to do is the front of the chair to the very back of the chair and we want to make that 22 inches. And I'm going to hit the isometric and hit the green checkbox and extrude this. So now I need to click on what I want to extrude, which is the chair. I do not want a one inch wide chair. I want it to be 20 inches. And sometimes it does it. Sometimes you got to click the green check mark. All right. So we're on to it looks like a chair now, but let's add some more detail to it. So I'm going to add the back of the chair. Now, most chairs, even the chair you're sitting on now, have multiple parts to them. So this is more of a starter design when you're doing a chair because it's all made out of one part when most chairs are made out of multiple parts. So let's hit the front view of this and grab a sketch and click on the top of it and I'm going to grab a corner rectangle. I'm going to start on this top line and I'm going to draw a... Uh, what just happened there? Uh, oh shoot. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to grab there and there we go. 
I'm going to draw just a wider, skinnier, um, I'm sorry, a wider um, uh, rectangle. I'm going to go right below this, and you'll see a dotted line. And so that helps me line up another rectangle. And then finally, I'm going to draw a third rectangle slightly below that. Now it's time to dimension. I'm going to just kind of start at the top and work my way down. So we have to uh, dimension for location. So I want, I want the location to be two inches from the left side of the chair and two inches from the right side of the chair. Uh, same thing with this part. You can see that's two inches. And I want this second part. So I'm clicking on the left side of this blue box and the black line of the outside of my chair. I want that two inches. Um, so they're all going to be two inches from the side. Um, here we go. This is going to be two inches from the side here. And I want these to be spread out uh, two inches apart. Uh, I didn't want to click, so let me type that. Double click it and type it again. Okay. Um, so now we've dimensioned for location. Now let's dimension for size. So I want the height of that to be another two inches. I don't need to do the width because, as you can see here, the width is already done for me when we have a total of 20 and subtracted 2 on the side and 2 on the left side. So 20 minus 2 minus 2 is 16. So it's done the math for me. So that's nice. I want to do the height of this center square is going to be rectangle, sorry, is 7 inches. Whoa, that totally threw off this bottom one. Now I can't see it anymore. That's tough. So let me hit undo. So undo is control Z. And I'm going to grab the dimension and I'm going to do this bottom one. I'm going to make that 7 inches. And I'm going to go back up here to this middle one and double click and make that 7 inches. OK. As I hit the green check mark, I'm going to extrude, go to extrude, and I'm going to click on each one of those rectangles that I made. So I'm going to click on the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one. And I'm going to hit remove. And I'm going to go to through all. Now you could have done each of those separately, but now we can extrude them all at the same time because they're all on the same sketch. So sketches are like pieces of paper. Um, once you add a sketch, then you can kind of work on that at the same time. All right, so we've got the back side done. Let's click on this bottom part, create a sketch on that, and I'm going to click sketch and I'm going to click the bottom part. I'm going to click the front view so I can grab a rectangle Start close to the origin, but a little bit to the right. And draw it up. And again, I'm going to dimension for location. So I'm going to go two inches from the left. And then I'm going to go two inches from the right. And I'm going to go, now I'm going to make that uh, 17 inches tall. Click my corner of my isometric uh, cube, green check mark, extrude it, click on the part that I just made. I'm going to remove it. This time, instead of going through all, because I could go through all and it would take both of them out, but that back, the back legs are actually a little bit uh, shorter. So I'm going to go to up to next and hit the green check box. I'm going to spin the chair around and finally draw the back two legs. So click on sketch, click on back view. Let's spin it around, grab another rectangle. Start at the baseline and dimension for location, which is from the left side to the rectangle we just drew is two inches. I'm going to also click on 
there and there and make that two inches. And finally, the height of this rectangle is going to be 16 inches. Click on the green check mark, extrude, click on the rectangle you just made, change that to remove, change this to up to part, I'm sorry, how about through all, and green checkbox. And you can see, as I spin it around, I go back to isometric. Looks pretty good. Let's make sure we change. So highlight it all, right click on there, go to change material. We want to click on the, where it says none and type in oak. You can pick red or white. I'm going to pick red. Hit the green checkbox. And then I also want to change the color of it. So I'm highlighting it again, just in case you clicked off of it. I'm going to go to Edit Appearance of Part 1. And I'm going to hit this where it says Auto. I'm going to go to Course. And I'm going to make this a slight, like, orange. And you can kind of see that we have our oak chair all done with four different extrusions um, and again we could have done this many different ways so thanks for watching and please make sure that you have your initials on the back end of this